If you want to combine several reports into one, pivot tables would be perfect candidates. Here is the result. Here is your pivot table and it compares all the information from three different tables or lists into one and we even added whether sales went up or down. The idea of January, February, March could be anything. It could be by year, by salesperson, whatever you want to do. So how do you do that? First of all you have to combine all those lists into one. You just copy the first list, the second list, the third list, the fourth list and put them all together. All you have to do is add one column that says is it from which month is it or which sales representative is it or which year and based on that information you create a pivot table. So we are going to do all of that step by step. I did already this work, the combination of all the tables we had separate. So we start a pivot table. Um, if you are inside your list, that is probably the best thing to do, then the machine will automatically find what the range is. So pivot table, and we are going to put it on an existing worksheet in this case, in E3. And when we click on OK, notice that it has already selected the exact range. And all you have to do now is put the information where you want it. The sum of the sales per month per name. And I assume that you want the sum of the sales, otherwise you have to know how to change that. We probably want to make that real dollars, so you click on sum of sales, make it dollar signs. We want the number format to be currency. Okay. And there is the end result. Okay. Now we are going to put outside that pivot table a formula. We are going to see we, did the thing go up or down. And we use the sign function. And you want G5 in this case, minus F5. D don't click there, for then you get a very long formula. Just type G5 minus F5. And accept that formula. And copy it to the right. So then we are going to apply conditional format to that range. Home, conditional formatting, and we, in this case I would say let's click on icon sets. So you get all this information. If you want the icons only and no numbers, then you go to edit that rule, conditional formatting, Manage the rules that you have already. This is the one you have. Select it and edit the rule. And say that you want icons only. Okay. And we OK it. And you will not get those numbers anymore. All you can do now is copy all of that into G5 and H5. So Control C for copy. And we go to G5, pay special, and make sure that you do the last icon, linked picture. And you get that information in there, you may have to widen the columns. And then move that thing over, or get rid of the decimals. That's another option you have. So how do I get back my tools? You click inside the pivot table, do your value field settings, and say you don't want any decimal places.
and there are the entry cells. As you can see, it did a beautiful job and you combined three different tables into one. I wish you good luck doing all of this.